Hello, everybody. Um, these first three minutes will be just me waiting. Um, so I will also be taking this time to explain why we wait. But if you want to skip this ahead, feel free. Uh, just skip ahead three minutes and you'll be at the start of the run. Pretty much. But now, for the people that actually want to hear this, um, if the dev is listening to this, um, I'll just explain why we're waiting real quick. And this real quick will take me 2 minutes and 30 seconds, pretty much. <laughs> so, why are we waiting here? Um, the start of the, the run, in my opinion, should be when we take control of the character. So, in this screen, we don't have control of it. We have to wake up. So, the first input to wake up should be the start of the run. Therefore, any time that we spend just looking at this screen shouldn't mean anything to the run. Why are we waiting, you ask? We're advancing the in-game time clock. So, I would guess that the day-night cycle in this game is run by an in-game timer. When we start on this screen, the game starts counting how many seconds we've been in the game. And those seconds translate into time spent on the day-night cycle. So, we want to get to a specific place where there's a moon gate. It's a teleportation uh, device that takes us to the first eye that we need, the red eye. You can see it on the splits. The red eye can only be accessed through that moon gate and that moon gate only appears on the midnight on midnight so if we woke up right away and went straight forward we would have to wait almost three minutes at that portal spawn location for the moon gate to appear because it would be the middle of the day so we'd have to wait for a full cycle to, sh to, to go by so the moon gate would appear so if we wait before we save time by not waiting there because the time there counts towards the run and this time does not count that's pretty much why we, we wait um, that also has the benefit the benefits the benefits of um, the rest of the run also gets kind of synced together uh, and the time that we take from the red eye to the to the fire temple and then fire temple to the purple when we get to the the, the blue eye which is locked behind another moon gate um, time there should be as well near the midnight so we wouldn't you don't have to wait that much or wait at all depends on how much uh, mistakes we make obviously if we take forever in the electric temple or if it of or if we take a specific amount of time that I haven't found which one it is by this route um, the moon gate cannot might not be there and you have to wait for a full cycle but if you do it almost perfectly everything, when you get there, the, the cycle um, is perfectly fine and you can just go straight in and just get the eye. And that's why we wait. Because we are, we are advancing the in-game timer right now by 2 minutes and 45 seconds, I believe. Um, that gives us enough time to get to the moon portal, the, the moon gate, the first one. And... Um, it's already there for us to just cross. Also, there's a small cutscene um, over here on this right turn uh, that can be skipped by just walking on the ledge and jumping over the the wood pile uh, pillar. Yeah, I was I was almost calling it pylon, but it's not a pylon. It's just a, a wood pillar. Yeah, that's like a 12, 13 second cutscene that we can just skip by doing that. Um, you can also skip this last cutscene, but unfortunately the cutscene is needed to progress through the game. <laughs> so we do not skip it. And it's this one. You can actually do the same thing and just jump, jump over the, the pillar and get on the other side of the bridge. Or the broken bridge. Uh, the other side... The, the opposite side of the dragon um, but the game does not continue <laughs> so right now it's already nighttime um, as you can notice by the bottom of the screen um, it shouldn't be if we haven't waited this would be like the beginning of like the daytime um, and we don't want that we want it to be nighttime so when we, when we get to the, the location of the moon gate it's already there okay health potion we can also skip a cutscene right there which is great because it's like another 12 
10 second cutscene. Which is fantastic. We're also skipping a little bit of the tutorial by jumping over this wall. If I can. Okay, this is just me choking a lot. Okay. God. <laughs> Kill this guy. Get his stuff. Come on. Oh my god, I'm losing so much time. We want to fight this guy to get his, his blue orbs. Because we need it for the fire temple entrance. Here we can skip another cutscene by going over it. And as you can see, the portal is already open. Which is brilliant. It's exactly what we wanted. I don't know why I removed my sword, but... Or unsheathed my sword. We don't need it right now. But yeah. Uh, why I killed that guy is for the simple fact that he has very low HP. Um, and we need 10 to open this door. We need 10 of the, the blue orbs that you can see um, on the bottom right of the screen. Uh, you can see that I have at the moment 2. And I had previously 12. So it uses 10. So instead of us going to hunt a, another monster up there at the, the fire temple door, we just killed that one instead. Here we're going to get over here. Hit this four times to open the doors upstairs. Just like that. And now we're going to do a similar but different place trick to skip. A bit of the room. Hello? Hello? Okay. That's okay. Skip a bunch of the room as well through that. Okay. This boss has two cycles, or two phases, whatever you want to call it. One of them is this spinning attack that you can block. And the other one is he shoots um, a really hard hitting ball. Just like that. I can, you, you can attack him while he cool down. You can evade these, which is what you're supposed to do. Sometimes he does really fast attacks. Sometimes it takes forever. Either way, that's what we're supposed to be doing. This temple was almost good, but it wasn't the best. Another small cutscene that we have to, to watch. And now on to the purple eye. Unfortunately, this eye does not, um, it's not bound to what time of the day it is. I'm gonna get some more potions here, just for safety, and because we'll need them <laughs> probably for later down the road. Um, you don't need them to be precise. Okay, this guy needs to not hit us like that. Let's jump over it. Actually, when I played this casually, the goblins were like the worst. I didn't know how to fucking, um, sorry for the cussing. I didn't know how to um, avoid them, but I just figured out that you could just jump over them. Thank God. One thing that, that I found it's really useful actually, um, you can attack real fast right after you unsheathe your sword. Um, so you and she then use spam attack pretty much um, and you get a really quick jab um, Okay, I'm gonna wait a little bit here Make sure I don't die I wish you could just jump over there, but we can't not right now at least Okay, we got over here Kill this guy. 
just so he doesn't interrupt us while doing this. I don't even know if he does, but okay, this guy is in front of the door. He needs to get out of there. So, I'll be trying to skip another cutscene um, for the Dragon Room. Uh, the cutscene for the Dragon Room, at least. Um, I haven't had much luck doing that, unfortunately. Um, I've done it once. And I wasn't even trying to do it. That's how I found out about it. Um, okay, I definitely didn't do it. <laughs> I tried, but no luck. You can skip this cutscene, which is really good. Because it's a very long cutscene. I just have to find um, a setup for it. I will be grabbing this um, part just for being careful. Okay, avoid the balls, avoid the arrows being shot at us. This is a fairly easily mistake, easy to make mistakes place. Um, it's also brutal. Because if you make a mistake, you go all the way back to the beginning, which sucks. And to be honest, I kind of hope that the dev uh, finds that this place is indeed incredibly hard um, to do in one go um, without making any sort of mistakes. Just waiting for stamina to recover. Should have used the potion, but that's fine. I'll, I'll use one here. I have to focus really hard on these jumps. Okay. This is my literally uh, the the worst place. Um, I mean, out of a like a list of really bad places to to run uh, in this game, uh, that place is definitely like. Top two. I think top one would be the the ice temple. The boss fight. Just terrible. Fucking hate it. Again, sorry for cussing. It's just my despise coming to to flourish. Go for a boat ride. My objective at the moment would be sub thirty minutes. Um, I think that's doable and not too hard. Uh, it just depends on how much times I die in the electric temple at the boss, and. How many times I die at the ice temple? <laughs> okay, gotta be extremely careful where I step foot on so I don't insta die. Just like that. Damn it. I'll try to go faster. I'll use a couple of potions just to get there slightly faster. Oh, that was lucky. Um, uh, over here. That was lucky. And now over here. I sheathe and unsheathe my sword there for um, more range for the jump. You go further with the roll. 
if you're not uh, carrying your sword. I'm gonna wait for this to come up again because I don't want to do the, the wall strats. Just <laughs> too dangerous. Wait for my stamina. Okay, awesome. Got that first try. That's pretty good. And now the boss fight. <laughs> Ooh, the boss fight. So, what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to stay in our cubby hole right here and lure the boss and the guys over to us. They spawned in a really bad place. So... I think we will be killing the boss. That's fine. We'll just pull these guys as soon as the sparks go by. Let the spark go by. Attack him a couple times. Let the spark go by. So this is a really cheesy fight. You can kind of cheese it by... Okay, this guy hit us. That's not good. So we'll wait for the cutscene here. I think this is the first time I'll, I did this uh, this temple deathless on a run. The password is electric fire fire electric. Fairly simple. That's a lot of time safe. Jesus. <laughs> and now on to the blue eye. Um, oh, where am I going? Since we did that really fast, um, I think we do have time to go get um, some potions. Which spawn near over there. So we're gonna get... So we're gonna go the, the long way around pretty much. There is a faster route to it, but we would have to wait. Uh, or to, to the blue eye, I mean. But we'd have to wait a lot for the moon gate to open, so we're gonna be. Please don't cheat your sword, thank you. Since we gotta wait, might as well grab some potions. Another one here, okay. Now we can go. <laughs> it's not like we need the potions, it's more for. Safety, in case we need them. This guy needs to let go of our asses. Up over here. We'll probably have to wait a little bit for the moon gate to open, but that's fine. Waiting for it a little bit is better than waiting for like three minutes. We're also going to skip a little bit of this, go over here, jump over here, oh, okay, jump over that, jump over that, and now we wait for the moon gate to open, and this is what we skip by waiting on the, the beginning of the game, pretty much, we wait having to wait for this, <laughs> pretty much. should be about to open yeah okay awesome stuff now this place is a hell we skip that guy by rolling around it he kind of misses a lot I love the soundtrack in this place we purposefully go slower around that bend so the guy shoots us slightly early and misses gotta fight this guy Okay. We can skip this guy by going over top him and just going straight through. Awesome stuff.
also David for watching. Um, sometimes um, you can get soft locked, like movement soft locked, where you can't attack or anything. You can still roll and move around, uh, but you can't attack. Um, if you uh, if you spam the skip button or the attack button, uh, skipping the um, the picking up of the blue eye animation. Pretty gnarly. <laughs> so here we skip having to cut through those vines or webs, I mean, and we go straight into the ice temple. And here we go to the worst place in this game. <laughs> There's a few tricks that I found here. One of them being not having to destroy these rocks and just jumping over them, pretty much. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I need it. So, uh, four, two, three. Okay. Hello? I'm so scared of getting hit by those. Uh. Okay, awesome stuff. And here we go to possibly the worst boss fight <laughs> ever. In the history of video games, I'm joking, it's not that bad, but I'm just really bad at it. Hit it once. Do the thing. Do this thing. Oh, come on. Okay, that was really cheap out of the boss. I was not in reach for him, but that's fine. Oh, okay. Sure, game. Do you think, brother? I'm quiet because I need to focus. I don't want to die. Three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, three, four, one, two, one, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and the attacks. Just avoid them. Okay, that was really good. Wow. Ooh. Oh, Jesus, the time save, yo. My heart is pounding, must admit. It's the first time I've had such a good run um, on this. We need a fire sword to get over this. Oh, where am I going? Not the right way, that's where I'm going. So, we're gonna go straight to the entrance of... Oh, I don't know why I did that, but sure. I guess I have a save point there now. <laughs> um, we're going straight to the entrance of the, the castle. Hello? Okay, I guess I don't go that way. That's fine. Couple of seconds lost. 
don't know why I was trying to go there. I never went there. I was maybe mistaken by those rocks. That's fine. Whatever. Um, we go here. We save. Um, we open the door and we go not out of bounds, but pretty much out of bounds. This guy is just annoying. Fortunately, he kind of misses. Instead of going all the way there, we just go. Okay, where? Where? Come on. Hello. That's not okay. There we go. Skip all this part. I'm gonna make a safety save just in case over here. Ow. Um, and what we want is to clip out of bounds through here. And we now are pretty much out of bounds. We're not supposed to be here. And what we're going to do, which is faster than going all the way down there and activating the, the things, we're just destroying all the three things. Just like that. Woohoo! Sub 30 by a lot. <laughs> that was a sub 35. Uh, 25, I mean. Damn. Okay. Um. I am speechless. Uh, the any percent route at the moment would be just to destroy the last door, which would be the elect the the ice one, because uh, it's the last one we get. We can reach this place um, way before getting the ice uh, sword, but we cannot destroy the last barrier. Um, and since there's nothing else besides this, like up ahead in this castle, there's nothing else to do. Um, the last objective we we do here is to destroy this barrier. So this would be the final objective for the run yeah so this was dragon eyes uh any percent route run uh probably and hopefully i'll get this run submitted to speedrun.com uh, but yeah see you guys another time thank you so much for watching if you watched uh dev thank you so much for this game this game is just brilliant it's amazing i love it um so yeah thank you for um for watching and i'll see you guys uh on uh, another run, game, leaderboards, whatever. Bye-bye. Peace out.